the muddy Mississippi begins its journey, spilling over rocks at Minnesota's Lake Itasca to form a knee-high, crystal-clear stream that you can walk across. It expands to 11 miles wide while still in Minnesota. By the time it travels more than 2,000 miles past the Louisiana cities of Baton Rouge and New Orleans, it's about a mile and a half wide and is loaded with dirt from the land it drains, reaching a depth of almost 200 feet before its final 100-mile stretch to the Gulf of Mexico. The Mississippi touches 10 states on its journey. Its watershed, the area drained by the river, and its tributaries cover about 40% of the continental United States. That includes parts of 31 states and two Canadian provinces, making it the third largest watershed in the world. The river was the nurturing force in the lives of Native American tribes, where they created a complex culture and cities populated by as many as 20,000 people. Later, the river became a focus of European explorers, like Spaniard Hernando de Soto, the first European to reach the river in 1541. In 1682, French explorer René Robert Sir de La Salle claimed the Mississippi River Basin for France. Countries competed for control of the river. Then in 1803, France sold a large section of the river's watershed to the United States in the Louisiana Purchase. President Thomas Jefferson recognized how important the river was to expanding the nation and the river remains a vital natural resource and an essential part of the country's culture and economy. It's also an important refuge for wildlife. It attracts 40% of North America's migrating birds and waterfowl, and one quarter of all freshwater species make their home in the river. The Mississippi River Delta, formed near the end of its journey, is one of the world's major delta systems. Over many years, the river has changed shape and direction. Annual river flooding deposited the sediment, or dirt and clay carried in the river, and shaped the delta. But the land which forms Louisiana's coast is now threatened due to erosion caused by storms and saltwater intrusion, and subsidence, or sinking, and the disruption of the sediment deposits due to flood protection projects. There's a lot to learn about the river, and our student reporters are going to take you to where it begins all the way down to where it drains into Louisiana swamps before spilling into the Gulf of Mexico. Ellie and Norrell will bring us to the headwaters in Minnesota. Kelsey cruises the river in New Orleans, and James ventures into the swamps to get up close and personal with some alligators. Woo! 